At high school hockey, the Warriors and Spartans squaring off. Emmy still looking for that first win of the season, but it's the Warriors that strike first. Gino D'Angelo splits all the defenders. Tanner Cousins gets a piece, but not enough as the puck sneaks into the net. CV up 1-0. Later in the first, Brian Pfeiffer leads Dalton Oakley, and he beats Cousins stick side to put the Warriors up 2. And that's all they need. The Spartans drop another one as CV wins 6-1. It was a hard-fought physical game on the gridiron. Patriots and Tigers on ice is no different. In the first period, Luke Wilbur puts the backhand on net. David Roberts can't get all of it. Seems to be the theme of the night. Tigers go up one. The Patriots march right on back. Cameron Dunn puts the shot on net. Owen Miller tries to make the save, but Matt Evans gets there first. And we're all tied up with a minute left in the period. In the second now, UE showing a little persistent. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, keep poking at the goalie or something like that. Tyler Colasanto eventually sneaks it through. Wilbur would add a second, and the Tigers best the Patriots 5-1. It was a very physical game between Johnson City and Vestal. Several players issued game misconducts at various times, but earlier in the first, before he was ejected, Joel Potter turning on the Jets and just barely beats Nick Nesselrode, and the Wildcats go up 1-0. So the Golden Bears trying to get something going. Andrew Scutt gets the shot off. Jared Levine blocks it but can't cover it up. Then finally lays down on it for the whistle. He'd come up with a couple of big saves as the Wildcats score three more en route to the 4-1 to win.